Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm James, continuing on with my build of the Aeromite RC plane. And as I'd like to mention in the introduction to all the videos in this series, this is not a boxed kit. You can't go purchase this plane as a boxed kit to build. You have to get the plans and build it off a set of plans, and that's what I'm doing in this series. So if you're interested in obtaining this set of plans and you want to try building the plane as well, you check out the introduction video to this series and I mentioned a few different ways on how you can get a set of plans and at least one of them is for free. So check that out. In the last video I showed how to make a set of identical wing ribs. It was a lengthy process but they turned out really nice I think and I'm excited about using them. In this video I'm actually going to be putting glue on wood and start to frame out the wing. Two videos ago in this play series I went over the details and the construction of the wing the different features, the types of wood and such. I'm not gonna go over all that again here, so if you're interested in that, check that out. But I did wanna show you what my intention is in this video of the build steps. So the wing, I'm gonna have two spars, and the spars are made out of this 16th inch thick, um, one inch wide balsa strips. There's two of these. Be one up here in the front, one up here in the back. And me grab one of the wing ribs and they're just going to, basically the ribs are just going to plug in or plug right on top of those strips like so. Like that. And there'll be, again, there'll be one here in the back. Let me grab one of these and stick it on here just so we can see it. So that's going to be pretty much how the spars and the ribs are associated with each other. And then this rear one's just going to be trimmed down. And here is just a close-up of the cross-section of the wing showing, showing that. Again, here are the one spar here, one spar here. Okay, pretty simple. Like always, the first step will be to protect the plans by putting down a layer of plastic wrap such as this. That prevents you from gluing your wood parts onto the plan and tearing the plan and all that. So it's a good way to protect the plans. So that'll be the first step. And then what I plan to do is set up the spars and set up all of the wing ribs on the spars by using my squares and my one, two, three blocks to get everything lined up. And once I get it lined up on the plans and I'm happy with that, I'll go through and I will glue it together with my thin and my thick CA glues. Then just as a reminder, if you watch those previous videos on this, I have two sets of, of wing ribs. They're the same shape, it's just that they're different thicknesses. Most of the ribs are 1 16th of an inch thick. That's this group right here. Another set, a smaller set, there's only four of them, are 332 um, inch thickness. And the 332s are shown on the plans. There's one on the outside edge, basically at the wing tip. And then there's one on the inner part down in here before we get into these sub rib areas down in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark those on the plan with my highlighter just so I can keep track of things, helps me keep things in order. And so I don't accidentally put the wrong rib in the wrong place.
So as I started this, I decided to kind of do it a different way, a little bit different. I'm going to square up the ends as close as possible to the plans and obviously square up the rib to the spars on each end. And then I'm going to glue those and I'm going to pin them down to sort of secure it, sort of act sort of like the foundation for the rest of the wing build. And then once I get those glued and secured onto the plan, I'll just go and I'll drop each of the ribs in and I'll glue those in either all at once or maybe I'll do them one at a time or maybe a combination thereof as I go. But that's going to be the general way I do this. Well, there we go. All of the ring ribs are now installed. I used thin CA, which soaks in nicely into the balsa, and then I used thick CA just to go around and just to strengthen each of the contacts. So the next step is gonna to be to install the spruce leading edge. Now the plans, I think the plans are calling out for that to be balsa, it doesn't specify, but as I noted before, the plans always specify what type of wood it what type of wood it is unless it's balsa from my interpretation. So in any case, it says a 3 16th inch leading edge right here and probably was intended to be balsa, but I'm going to go ahead and strengthen that up with some spruce. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my thick CA and I'm going to glue the leading edge on like that. And then I'm going to use my weight to press it up against the wing. I installed a bunch of T-pins to help support and secure the wing so when I push up against it, I don't distort it. And that should work out okay.
All right, so we have our leading edge now glued on. And I'm gonna go back and check it to make sure there's no little gaps or anything. I may hit that again with some thick CA. But now I can move on to the trailing edge. And actually probably what I need to do is trim this off before I do that. So maybe the next step here is gonna to be to trim off this extra material here. All right, well, I have this rear spar now trimmed down and it blends smoothly with the top of the ribs here. And, you know, I had to take my time. I had to be very careful using my razor plane and some sanding. So I just took off just a little bit. I used the, I used the straight edge here to get me close, as you saw, but that had a little bit kind of sticking up. So I just had to go over the top of it and just smooth that down or just kind of just trim it very, very carefully and then sand it. Well, everybody, I made a mistake. When I finished up this step, I realized I did something wrong. And like I've said before on this channel, I am no expert and I'm prone to making mistakes. And luckily, for the most part, I can fix them or compensate for them. And in this case, I'll be able to do that also. But let me show you what I did incorrectly, which was a result of misreading the plans. So if we look at the, um, the spar, main spar here and this rear spar here these were supposed to these were supposed to extend all the way up to the top of the rib in both cases and I have a cut I cut a small one just as an example here so for example this first the, the leading or this front spar here should have been about this thick and it should have a notch in it like that and that's what the rib would plug into and let me get my rib and I'll show you how that was supposed to work. So here's the rib and it was supposed to just plug like that. So that would have been looking, well, I think you get the picture for both the front and the rear. Now I'm looking at this and honestly, I think it's actually strong enough as it is built here, but I have a solution that I'm going to do here. But let me show you the plan really quick and show you where I made my mistake. So here is the profile of the wing. And so you see here how it says it points to the 1 16th inch spar, and that's what I did right here. And, but what I didn't realize or didn't, what I didn't pick up on is that these two little lines here and here, these, there's one here. Oops, I'm kind of drawing with my left hand. Sorry, I'm right-handed, but so these lines here and right here, I didn't pick up on those when I was looking at this. And just looking at the wing and obviously looking at the picture in the magazine article, um, you may be able to see it here or not. It's kind of hard to see, but those ribs or that, that spar spans the entire thickness. And it makes sense um, now that I look at it. So, you know, that was a mistake. And again, I make mistakes and that's kind of, for me, that's part of my experience when I build, I make mistakes and then I, hopefully I can fix them and such. So I think I have a good solution to this, but I wanted to bring this up. So let me show you what I'm going to do to hopefully, you know, solve that. Okay, well, I'm just gonna cut a bunch of smaller pieces like this 
and I'm just going to insert them on top here just like that hopefully it won't fall out when I do this there it is and I'm just going to glue each one of those in with some thin and thick and thick CA and really you know if you're familiar with building planes a lot of times in the construction of planes um, they put this they call it webbing in between the the ribs like that to help reinforce and stiffen the wing so this isn't too far off and actually I think it's going to be strong enough also um, I think the bond between the CA and, and the, the balsa you know, this is pretty thin balsa so it's I think it's going to bond really nice and I think it'll be just fine and honestly that's really all I can do I'm not going to go ahead and build another set of ribs and build another wing I think this will be good as is so let me go ahead and do this final step here for this part and then we'll come back and take a look at it all right well that was a pretty easy little fix i don't think it's a big deal you know am i happy i made the mistake of course not do i think it's going to be a big deal no i think the wing's going to be perfectly strong and i don't think i added any significant weight or anything like that by gluing these pieces like this so i think it's going to be okay you know and like my friends and family will tell you i'm not perfect so that's just the way it goes when i'm building rc planes okay so that's going to be about it for this video and you know my last video was kind of lengthy so i'm decided to make this one a little bit shorter so in my next video of this play series i'm going to continue on with the wing and i'm going to be sheeting the leading edge and the trailing edge areas probably be working on these little sub ribs in here probably the wing tips and such and also have the cap strips to go on a few other steps here but i think i can possibly finish up the major construction of the wing in the next video. Okay, so like always, I appreciate you watching my channel and we'll see you next time.